welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you all of my art supplies that I have. So, let's just get started. So, starting off, I made this organizer, that organizer, and that organizer. And, yeah. So, let's start over here. So, over here, I basically just have some office supplies. But I do have some pens over here. Um, I do have a lot of Sharpies over here. Then I have some sharpeners. I don't really know what's in here. Um, these are some, like, nail things I got, but they're kind of hard to put on my nails. And I don't really do my nails that often anymore because I don't really have time. So I'm just keeping them from, like, a craft I might use. Then I have some earrings, clippers, I don't know. They came with this uh, craft kit that I had. Then I have some lead, I have some of these clip things, and I have some post-it notes for school, and I have some paper paper cups, and in here I just have some knick-knack stuff, probably stuff I need to throw away. And then back here I have these fancy scissors that cut out like little fancy designs. Then I have some regular scissors right here, and here are a bunch of like random stuff. I have a compass exacto knife a crochet needle i mean a crochet hook um i have an eraser i have another one here these are some fabric markers hole puncher things like that and next is my color pencil organizer all these organizers will be in the description box below as well and then here has some washi tape and here I believe I have some erasers, have some pink ones, um, I forgot where that came from. And I have a kneaded eraser for when I'm sketching in my room. In here I just have some coins, like these dollar coins. They're supposed to be like special or like valuable, I guess. And in here... I have some oil pastels that I have in this old chocolate container that I got from Valentine's Day. Then right here are my markers. So let's start in this section. I have all my paints and watercolors in here and some other stuff. So I just organized this, but I haven't organized it very well because when I do like a watercolor painting, I have to take all these paints um, to get to the watercolor paint. Cause, um, basically, I just need like a better way to organize this stuff. So I have a lot of paints, as you can see. Um, some I bought on my own, some my friends gave me. But, yeah. So, I, I like the Craft Smart because they're just cheap they're like 70 cents at michael's and they work very well then i have these my friend gave me these these are the crayola name brand some of them are like sparkly like these but in like this one but these two are not sparkly so in here i believe i have glitter pens yep and this glitter box that i got for christmas i just kept it because it was just like so cute and then another thing that I have in here are my watercolors. These are the two ones, as you can see. And also in here I have my perler beads. It's all taped up because it came busted in the mail. So that's that. So I'm going to put these back where they came from, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so right here I just have some college mail. And I have some trash uh, bags for my room. And here's um, one of my drawings or creations from my art shop. Link is always in the description box below. Um, and here I just write down YouTube ideas and challenges, things like that. And in here, um, it's a lot of different knickknack stuff in here. I really like this box. Um, I had it for a while. I think my mom gave it to me. Just, um, I don't really know what came in it. But I like it because it's like really pretty and sparkly. 
So I have like a bunch of different stuff in here. I have some chalk pastels. I have some pan watercolors. Um, these two are the Artist Loft name brand. So is this the Artist Loft name brand. And this is the Reeves name, name brand. And these are some, I forgot what these are called. Um, and I have some, I think these are acrylics. Yep, acrylics in the Artist Loft name brand. I haven't used them yet. Wait, no, I use them for one thing, but I haven't really um, used them very well. Because I don't really like acrylics that much or painting. I like watercolors. But painting's not really my thing. Oh, and here I have some containers of mixed paint that I use for uh, painting these cans. So then I have a bunch of washi tape and decorative tape over here. Um, this came, my neighbor gave this to me for my birthday like three years ago. And some I bought myself. And yeah, under here I do have the graphic scans things. Remember that video? I did decorate this in that video, the top to these, and some other stuff like that flower container I just showed you. So yeah, that's what's in here. So in here, I have a bunch of random stuff in here. So this is from that challenge video I did, the fashion design art challenge. I have some glitter glue gun sticks in here. I have a sewing kit. I have some cords. And I have a bunch of clips on the side. As you can see, like, if I need one, I just grab it. And a bookmark. A big eraser. I um, have some phone cases in here. I have some flashcards for school or if I needed something to write down. I'll just grab those. I have some decorative letters. More bookmarks that I don't use. Um, I have my color sheet for all of my colored pencils. And I have these pegboards from the pillar beads. I oh, this is a top from a cookie thing that I just um, mix paint on, as you can see. These are my coasters from my DIY coaster video. And I have another paint palette. I do have another one, a circular one. That's downstairs. I just left it down there because it needs to be cleaned. I have another journal that my friend gave me. And I have some canvases um, I got for Christmas two years ago. And I just never got around to painting them. Like I said, I don't, not really a big fan of painting except for watercolors. This is another fashion design kit. A lot of my family members give me fashion design things but I don't really like fashion that much I mean I like wearing clothes but you know I don't like drawing fashion stuff but sometimes I do I mean it depends and in here I have some like directions to different things and then here I have some cards I used to have like a bunch of cards I took up like this whole section but I just had to throw them away because there was like too much paint I mean too much cards so that's that. And here I have a bunch of random stuff. I have some planner stickers from my bullet journal video. And I have these um, little cut out, I don't know, flowers and butterflies. I mentioned where I got these in my haul video I did this year. And have some Mod Podge. Then I have some um, glitter glue gun sticks. And also there's a tweezers from the Polar Bee set. And here I have my brushes. Um, some of these are Windsor Newton. These red ones are. Um, the red ones were my mom's. And then the black ones are Reeves name brand. And then the silver ones are, well, not all of them. But the blue ones, if I can find one. The, yeah, here. The blue ones are Artist Loft name brand. And yeah, that's the brushes. 
here I keep my favorite art supplies. Well, pencils and pens. I wouldn't say they're my favorite because I don't really use them that often. Um, I use about everything. So in here I have some charcoal, different types of charcoal, um, pencils, different types of pencils like 2B and HB pencils and 2H pencils. I have an eraser, another gel pen, a regular pen in there. And I have some Crayola Super Tip um, markers. And I have some yarn that I got because I used to be into crocheting. No, I really don't. I have my my package that came with my single markers. I used it for um, traveling and also taking it to my art class. And I have some party hats that I had from an old project. Then I have some tortillions or burning stumps, I don't want to call it. And then, yeah, so I'm just going to put all the stuff back. And then I'll show you where I keep all my papers and stuff, which is on my bookshelf. So before I go to show you the paper, I do want to show you, um, sometimes in my room I do s display my recent drawings, and this is one of my recents that I have displayed on this easel that I got in a um, artist loft little set. And yeah, I really like it. I don't really use it for painting, I was like, oh, I'll just display my art here. So yeah, that's the primary color challenge that I did. And so, yeah, here's my bookshelf. I have some pictures on my bookshelf that I really don't want to show because they're of my family, so I'm just going to cover up. But here's my bookshelf besides the top there that has pictures. So this is where I keep my drawing stuff besides this stuff. That's school stuff. And, yeah. And I do have some more drawing stuff over there, too. So, um, drawing stuff starts, like, right here. So I'm just going to take everything out because, as you can see, it's leaning. So, yeah. So I have this Artist Loft Mixed Media Pad. Again, I got with that set. I don't really draw much in here because I really don't like the paper. But I use it for practicing since I don't like the paper. That is not art stuff. Anyways, gosh, hope this doesn't collapse. I have another sketchbook. Um, I think this was the Stratmore sketchbook, I believe. It's um, a 9 by 12 sketchbook. And, yeah, I just covered it with some magazine clippings, as you can see. I collect magazines, and I used to have more than this. So, yes. So I have some scrapbook paper as well. Um, I use this for decorating things, making cards for my family. And it has like a bunch of different patterns, which I like a lot. Of different colors. Um, then I have this. I like this because it's really girly. And just colorful rainbows. I really like the rainbow and shiny stuff. I have another one. That just has like plain paper in there. I should keep it. Oh, here it is. It just has different shades of purple and pink. Which, as you know, purple and pink are my favorite colors. There you go. Okay, so then I have. Whoa. My marker paper that I recently got. I only have one drawing in here, some swatches. And I first tested out the hoo hoo markers. Yep, there's that. I have a little guide of watercolors that came with a set, my Reeve set. Okay, and then I have. Oh, this book is so. I, I knew that was gonna happen. I just, I just knew it. Oh. Why am I holding it? Like it's gonna fall. Anyways, I have an old journal. Okay, so this is a survival, an animated survival kit. Because I want to be an animator when I grow up. So I asked my mom for this book for Christmas. And I started reading it. It's really helpful. 
Okay, so then I have where I keep all my drawings. I did a video of what's in here two years ago, so if you want to see that, go watch that video. Um, the link will be in the description box below as all my drawings. Um, so this is a fashion kit, another one of those. Uh, another fashion kit that goes with this. Um, this is a book that I really like because it shows you how to, not show you how to draw things, but it shows you the different types of, you know, shirts. I mean, not all of them, but they show you, like, I'm not even in the frame. I'm showing, like, skirts, pants, shirts. I really like it. It's kind of helpful. Um, this is the only one that I kept because I want to learn how to draw clothes soon. And have another watercolor book. This is a uh, 11 by 15, kind of big. I do have a smaller one because I don't really do a lot of big drawings, but uh, I can cut the paper. But um, yeah, I do have that. I do want to do a big watercolor painting soon when I am more skilled at watercolors. I have a gosh, I have a um, toned piece of paper, I mean, notebook, and it just has one drawing in here that I don't really like, yeah, it's alright, I guess, um, this is nothing to do with art, this is an old, um, book that my mom got when I was like, I don't know, 10 or 12 maybe, and I made this myself, I talked about this in another video, but yeah, that's that book. And have another, well not another, but another guide to uh, tips and tricks of artists. And then I have my watercolor book. This is the smaller one I was talking about. And it has, it's really good quality, I like it. I just do, in this watercolor book, I do a lot of testing um, stuff. Like I do a lot of swatches. I do a lot of testing my new materials. I see that was a fail. I tested out my, you know, using all my red art supplies. I do kind of those in here. That's my end card. I, again, testing out mediums, doing challenges in here and stuff like that. So, yeah, I need to put all of this away before I move on to the other section because yeah so i'll be right back go kind of glad i decided to do this video because now i'm all organized anyways before i move on to the next section i do want to share you some stuff in here i have some rulers um right here and i do have this like magic wand i really like it I used to pretend like I was on Disney Channel when I was younger. Like, hey, it's Jada, and you're watching Disney Channel. And you, like, draw the thing. Yeah. Maybe that's just me. Uh, then I have a cutting board. I put right here. I use for crafts and stuff. Okay, so journeying on to this section right here. Ooh. Okay, so I have this folder that I made in seventh grade or sixth grade I can't remember and I kind of like it I like this side the most and um, yeah it's really creative I thought um, so I have some sketch I mean not sketchbook um, scrapbook paper shreddings and pieces because you know the small stuff I didn't want to throw it away because I might need it for something or for like craft or something, so I just keep that in there. And on top of my sketchbook, I have my tablet. Oh god, it's gonna be hard to get out the bag with one hand. Let's see if I can do this. I'm struggling with real. Okay, so here's my tablet. It's a Huion tablet. I finally know how to say it now. So I have some buttons on the side that doesn't really work with my program for some reason. Because it's stupid. I'm just kidding. Um, 
I'm, I'm struggling here. <laughs> so in here I have a glove. It helps with, um, to like, I don't know, when you're drawing, it helps smooth. Like, you know how your palm gets sweaty and like when you're, when I'm drawing, it just gets like stuck. And this helps it like glide smoother. That's the word, glide. Glide smoother. And I have my pen holder and in this pen holder it does have bibs. And then somewhere in here. No, let me just dump this out. Okay. I should have used it that before. I should have used my brain. Anyways, I have a pen. It does have... <coughs> Excuse me. I choked on my own spit. That's gross. So then I have a pen. A little nib. And then I have some cords. Or one is charging for my, <coughs> excuse me, some is um, charging for my pen and one is to plug into my computer. So um, I'll put that up later. So then I have my sketchbook that I don't sketch in that often as I should. But this is the one that I'm currently sketching in. Again, I have some, I decorated it with some uh, magazine clippings. As you can see, I'm a huge fan of it. Yeah. I'll do a sketchbook tour soon once I finish it. I probably, since the sketchbook is like really big, I'll probably do like a halfway sketchbook and then I'll do like a full one. Um, yeah. So, in there, that's not art stuff. Except for this, I do have a art rose book. But other than that, some other stuff. Um, that are not really art related, but they're like kind of art related. I use some of my videos, so I'm just gonna journey over here to to this drawer. And yeah, here's the junk drawer. But yeah, no, these are where I keep my pens and pencils. Well, some pencils. Um, like I use these in my art videos. And I use these in my art videos for like, you know, that all red art supply. I use, oh, I can't even get it out. These, uh, please focus. Ah, it's not focusing. Well, anyways, they're paper may. I think it's a flash that I have on. Yeah, there we go. Paper may flare markers or pens I mean and I have a bookmark and just a bunch of pens and in here I have some note cards that I write my to-do list on back here I have some glue some more post-it notes and I have some more index cards I have some chalk I have some dots and um, have a flash drive um, a GoPro thing for my tripod, but I don't have a GoPro, so I just keep it there, you know. Never know what you might need later. I have a glue stick, white out. Again, more office supplies. Um, have some hole reinforcers, some kite string, some more glue, but this one's white. I have some whiteboard, some whiteboard inside of my little thing I showed you. I have a stapler, I have some string. But like these I used to make all the time. Comment down below if you used to make these. Because me and my friends used to make these all the time. And have some lotion, you know. Because this drawer is right beside my bed. So sometimes my hands be dry. And it's like, ooh, I need some lotion. Did you grab it? And this I got from Christmas. It's like for like protecting your stuff. But I just like it because it's like soft and fuzzy. And it's like, ooh. But... I don't know. I just like touching soft things. I don't know if that's not weird. Hopefully not. And in here I keep cords. But mostly my headphones and my mouse goes in here as well. Um, so yeah, that is it. That's in here. Also, I did a room tour video when I used to be a lifestyle video. I mean, lifestyle channel. So if you want to see my room tour, um, it will be in the description box below. 
So I'm over here editing and I realized um, one of my uh, outro videos got lost somehow or I thought I filmed it, maybe I didn't, maybe I accidentally thought I filmed it and didn't press the record button. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, maybe learned some things. And all the videos that I mentioned will be in the description box below. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.